Hi friends, welcome to Storytime with Sam. My name is Sam, and today we'll be reading a book called No More Naps, which is about a girl that didn't want to take a nap. I like taking naps. Do you like taking naps? I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And let's get started. No More Naps by Chris Grabenstein and Leo Espinosa. Let's get started. A story for when you're wide awake and definitely not tired. Annalise Devin McFleece did not want to take a nap. She would fuss. She would fume. She would scream. She would shriek. But she would not ever, no, never take a nap. Do you know anyone like that? You're tired, said her mother. You're cranky, crooned her father. You're making my cakes crumble, worried the baker downstairs. I've never heard anything so loud, shouted the construction workers breaking up concrete on the sidewalk. But it didn't matter what her parents or the baker or the construction workers or anybody said. Do you think Annalise Stephen McFleece would take a nap? No, nope, she would not. So her father plotted the perfect plan. Let's go for a stroll. That will surely make you sleepy. Outside, the sun was warm. Annalise's stroller rocked. It rolled. Sleepy? Asked her father with a great big yawn. Annalise answered with the only word she could actually say out loud. And she could say it very, very loudly. Do you know what that one word was? No! Cried Annalise Devin McFleece. No, 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 no. Please take a nap, begged her father. Please! No! Excuse me said a man sitting nearby. If she won't take a nap, may I have it please? I'll also take a nap, said a woman. I've had such a busy day, a nap would be the perfect thing to perk me up. And do you know what happened next? Everybody wanted to take a nap the man selling hot dogs, and the kids playing ball, and the dog walker walking dogs, and the baker frosting cookies, and the construction workers jackhammering the sidewalk, and the police officers on patrol, even the man who emptied the garbage cans, and the boy on his skateboard, and the girl practicing her juggling. <laughs> yawned a big dog stretching out to snooze while two squirrels took a nap in a tree and a mouse took a nap in a pile of leaves. A flock of pigeons took a nap caroo, caroo, carooing because that's how pigeons snore. Even the ducks on the pond tucked in their feathers and closed their eyes. Before long, every single creature in the whole park had decided to take a nap. But what about Annalise Devin McFleece? Do you think she was taking a nap? No! That's right, she was the only one in the whole wide sleepy world who would not fall asleep. Now there was nothing for Annalise to do, no one to play with, 
no one to fuss, fume, scream, or shriek at. And all those soft and steady sounds of gentle snoozling? They made her feel sleepy, very, very sleepy. Her eyes grew heavier and heavier, so heavy she wanted to take a nap. But she couldn't because. All the naps had already been taken. But I want to take a nap, shouted Annalise Devin McFleece. I want to take a nap. Of course, she didn't really know how to say any of those words. So all that came out was. A wah! So loud it jounced and jangled and jogged across the park. Do you hear it too? But everybody was snoozling so soundly they didn't even hear it. Except. A gray cat with white paws napping in a window. Meow, said the cat, stretching herself awake. Don't worry, little girl. While I've taken so many naps, I have naps to spare. You can take one of mine. What happened next? You might wonder. Well, if you listen closely, you might hear it. Shh! Listen. Can you hear it? Can you hear all that quiet? Do you know what that means? That's right. Annalise Devin McFleece finally, finally, finally took a nap. Sleep. Tight, and so Annalise Devin McFleece finally took her nap and started taking naps every single day. The end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. <sighs> and all this talking and reading is making me tired. I think I'll take a nap myself. Until next time, please be good to each other. And have a great day.